What's up, waivers? Welcome to PhD in Waves. In today's video, I'm going over my 30 day progress. If you didn't know, I recorded a whole series of me scalping, and then every day I showed you guys what I was doing to get my 360 waves back from the point from where I scalped. If you guys don't want to watch all those videos, this video right here will basically be a summary. So, basically, this is what my waves look like before I decided to scalp. I would say it's a seven out of 10 i do have some forks in there but overall my pattern did look pretty solid so this is basically what my hair looked like before i scalped all right so let's get right into it so on day one i basically started to cut my hair i decided that i didn't want to go all the way bald because that wouldn't really make sense i would basically just be brushing a bald head and that would be a waste of time so i did decide to keep some hair on my head so as you could see if i was bald i would just be wasting time and it would take an extra two to three weeks just to see a little bit of hair on my head and i didn't just want to brush uh only my scalp so i did decide to keep some hair on my head another thing i want to go over is a lot of people keep asking me why do i keep scalping because this is the second time that i scalped the first reason i scalped again was because i wanted to document my process of going from scalped uh, to getting my 360 waves back. I did want to document that whole process every day. The second reason I scalped again is because sometimes you have forks that are impossible to get rid of, even, even if you brush them, no matter how many times you do a wash and style. So there are benefits to scalping because you're able to cut the forks off and then you could train your pattern straight from the scalp. So that's the second reason why I decided to scalp was to get rid of some stubborn forks. And then the third reason why I decided to scalp is because I wanted to show waivers that it's better to start your wave journeys on shorter hair because it's easier to control, you're training less layers, and you're training right to the root of your pattern. But if you decide to start your wave journey on longer hair, it's going to be way harder to control because you have multiple layers of curls that you have to train and you also have to lay down those curls. And it's much easier for your hair to over curl when your hair is long. So you don't really have to scalp, but I do recommend starting your wave journeys on shorter hair rather than longer hair. So with all that being said, let's get right into my bald to 360 waves journey. All right, so day one, this is what my pattern looks like. You could still faintly see my wave, so you already know I'm going in with that soft brush. Day two, my hair pretty much looks the exact same. Hair is not going to grow that fast in two days. Uh, I did decide to do a shower brush session or like a wash and style on short hair just to see what would happen. I just wanted to see if uh, this would help my pattern or basically... How would a shower brush session uh, go on a scalped head? And I also worked on my crown area because you definitely want to develop your crown area early. So after this shower brush session, nothing really happened. It kind of looks like my waves faded more. So that's pretty much what happened. That was the result. Day four uh, pattern still looks pretty much the same. You could still faintly see my waves and that's not because i have waves that's just because my waves have been pressing against my scalp for so long that they are imprinted on my scalp also uh working on my crown area because you want to develop your crown area early like i said earlier because once your hair starts getting longer once you start to wolf it's going to be so much harder to develop your crown area so you definitely want to make sure you're working on your crown area as early as possible i believe this is day five you could see a little bit of hair growth um in my pattern but i'm still using that soft brush and you guys could obviously see that i'm keeping a do-rag on that's because when your hair is super short you want to make sure you're protecting your hair at all costs because it's extremely easy to mess up your pattern at shorter lengths so let's keep it going i believe this next day is day six and right here you could kind of see that i grew some hair i think this is the first time that you could kind of see that my pattern is starting to grow and my waves look faded in some sections some other sections it doesn't look as faded and these are my crown angles they're pretty much the same as th any 360 wave angles you're basically just trying to form a circle 
Uh, so I'm just trying to get started on my crown area as early as possible because I always struggled with my crown area. And like I said, my hair has been growing. So I decided to get a shape up just to make things look a little bit better. And just to give my hair a little bit of a cleaner look. This is what my hair looks like after the haircut. It does look a little bit better. Shape up could have been better, but it is what it is. I don't really have that much hair to work with. Uh, I think this is day seven. The days might be a little bit off, but I think this is day six or seven. My hair does look kind of dry here. Uh, day eight, this is what the pattern looks like. You could see a little bit more depth in my waves. You could kind of see my waves coming in a little bit more. Day nine, day nine or 10, not exactly sure. Uh, still using that soft brush. And then I decided to do another shower brush session because my hair has been growing a little bit. It does look like my hair did fall out of place a little bit. So I don't recommend doing wash and styles when your hair is super short. That's just my personal opinion. So let's keep it moving. I think uh, a couple of days passed since I was talking. So I think this is day 11, 10 or 11. Um, the top of my hair and also the left side of my hair does look like more depth is coming in. Uh, so I think I am starting to reach my curl length and my waves are starting to come in as the days move forward. But I still don't think I'm still at my full curl length because I don't see waves all over my pattern. But right here, this is what my routine was pretty much the whole series. I brushed 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, and 15 minutes at night. And then to moisturize, I just used the moisturizer, and then I used the oil or butter to seal in. And then I wore a do-rag every single night when I'm at the gym just to protect my hair. And I also did a wash and style twice a week, one to two times a week, basically. So this is uh, what my pattern looks like at day 13 or 14. I can't really keep up uh, with what day this is, but uh, as you can see, you could definitely see some more waves. For some reason, the right side of my hair took a very long time to come in. Uh, you could obviously see my crown area. You can see the area where I've been working on my crown, and then let's keep it going. This day, my hair does look super good, uh, and then this is also the day where I did another shower brush session slash wash and style. And as you can see, my hair did fall out of place due to the wash and style. Like I said before, I don't recommend doing wash and styles when your hair is short because it is very easy for your hair to fall out of place when your hair is very short. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing this progress. My hair looks like it's growing pretty fast. I think we're coming up on two weeks, uh, but my hair still wasn't long enough to comb. But sooner or later, I will be able to comb. This left side is looking really good. Right side, not so much. The back is coming in. And this is how I'm moisturizing my hair. Like I said before, I'm using a moisturizer. And then I'm using a oil to seal in that moisture and to give my hair lubrication and shine. And then I'm always ragging up. All right, so we're just past two weeks, coming up on three weeks, and now I'm just going to show you guys a quick update of the problems with my pattern. It seems like the middle of the top of my waves are taking a little bit of time to come in and develop, but that's completely fine. As soon as my hair gets longer, that will fill in very nicely, and uh, I will have solid connections. And then on my right side, I think this is the biggest problem of my waves. It's taken a very long time for my waves to come in. I go into more detail into the actual video on my channel, the full video. Uh, but it did take a very long time for the right side of my waves to come in. But sooner or later, it's going to come in. Uh, pretty much that side of my head has a completely different hair texture than the rest of my hair. And then as you can see on the back of my waves, it just looks like ripples, uh, very faint, shallow waves and ripples. So that's just going to come with wolfing out my hair and growing my hair that will develop sooner or later. So I'm not really worried about this part of my head. And then moving on to my crown area. For some reason, even when uh, I had my waves, my crown area was always the last to come in. So and then going going forward towards uh, 
you know, the edge of my hairline. I don't really have any depth or any waves. And I noticed that even when I was wolfing. So I think I'm just going to have to wolf more and I might have to avoid getting tapers so I could fill in that area. So I think this is the three week mark, uh, either just about three weeks or at three weeks. As you can see, ripples on the back left side looks solid. I don't know why my left side is, uh, the strongest side it just is so i am happy about that uh, it looks like there's solid connections on the left um and then around this point i stop using the soft brush and i start implementing a uh, medium or a hard brush because my hair is getting longer so i do need harder bristles to move my waves and to train my wave pattern and also around this time my hair is long enough to comb so as you can see this is kind of the length of my hair my hair is pretty long for this stage that i'm at i just went to go check which day this was this was day 25 so this is what my hair this is the length that it grew on day 25 and here i'm using that medium to hard brush just to brush my hair back into place and at this stage you could obviously see a lot more waves coming in as i reach my curl length but as i said before the right of my head has been struggling to get waves and then since my hair is getting longer i did another wash and style just to make sure my hair is trained and clean and i think this was the results of that wash and style waves are coming in we're almost uh to one month uh, i think we're at day 26 or day 27 i am happy with my progress the only thing that i'm unhappy with is my right side it is taking a very long time to come in and it just looks like it's fork city there's a bunch of forks on my right side uh, there's a lot of weak spots there, but sooner or later that will fill in and I'm pretty happy with my progress overall. My crown area looks like it's coming in a little bit more. I'm increasing my depth, but that right side, a bunch of forks, uh, it, it's just crazy. I'm just going to have to wolf that side out and just, you know, do some concentrated brushing, some mirror brushing. And these are my two weak sides, my crown area and my right side. So going forward, let's see, what day is this? This was day 30, basically basically a month of my wave progress. This is what 30 days since I scalp looks like. It doesn't look terrible. And then I did another wash and style. Uh, and this was the results of the wash and style. I think I missed some soap because you can see that big line on my forehead. And as you can see, my pattern does look like it fell out of place a little bit, but I think this is a pretty good length to start doing wash and styles. It's not too short and it's not too long. And overall, my pattern is filling in. The last thing that I have to do is get that right side uh, in with connections. And then I think my whole pattern will pretty much be complete. And also, I want to develop my crown area at this stage a little bit more. As you can see, the top and the left side are my strong sides. And look how terrible that, that right side looks. The back also looks good. But as soon as it starts curving into that right side, it does look bad. But look how strong that left side looks. And then on this day, uh, I was catching a flight, but I still wanted to show you guys my progress. It looks pretty good with the different lighting. As you can see, that right side still looks bad. Um, and this is when I landed. This is what the progress looks like. Uh, looks pretty good. Just over a month since I scalped. Um, left side looking solid. Right side still looking pretty weak. The back is kind of mixed and I still have to fill in my crown area but overall not bad i think the progress is pretty good uh because i've been brushing every day i've been moisturizing when my hair gets dry i've been doing washing styles twice a week i've been always wearing my do-rag so the progress isn't bad it honestly looks pretty good since i scalped so i am pretty happy with my progress except for the right side as you can see that right side looks terrible in my opinion crown area crown area definitely needs some work too but you just have to trust the process i already had waves so my waves did come in faster but you could obviously see i have a lot of forks even though i already had waves and around this time i think this was day 37 38 i just started slacking uh 
I stopped brushing a little bit. I stopped wearing my do rag, and you could obviously you could obviously see that my hair is super frizzy. My hair is out of place, and that's normal. You're gonna have those stages where you're gonna start slacking off, and that right side is just filled with forks and i'm not gonna lie i almost gave up but like i said before you have to trust the process you're not gonna have perfect waves overnight this is me after one month and i already had waves so that just goes to show that it takes a very long time to get perfect waves but you just gotta be motivated you gotta be motivated to get flawless waves so right here i'm getting ready to end the whole series um, I think I'm going to do one more wash and style and then I'm going to get a haircut and then that's when the whole series is going to be finished. So this is pretty much the last wash and style before I get a haircut. Look how long my hair is after just over a month. I want to say five weeks. I think uh, my hair grew pretty fast. I have like a mini, mini, mini afro. Uh, it's pretty long. So after this wash and style, I'm excited to get a haircut and show you guys the final results of this whole series. It's been a long time coming. And honestly, I can't believe that I recorded every single day uh, just to show you guys uh, what I did every single day. If you guys want more detail about what I did every day, I think you guys should go back to each individual video, like day one, day two, day three, day three, day four, just to see exactly what I did. And uh, just hear the things that I've been going through on each day. I think that would be helpful for a lot of beginners or anybody that's trying to get uh, waves. So this is what my waves look like after the wash and style. They honestly look pretty, pretty good. They look solid. You can see those connections. I'm um, just quickly brushing my hair back into place. And overall, I'm happy with uh, what my waves look like on week five, day 36 or day 37. I'm not exactly sure. It might be like day 40. I'm actually not sure, but this is me uh, getting a haircut getting a taper just to show you guys the final results after this whole series so i'm just getting in a quick brush session and then i'm getting in the ziploc bag session and then this is pretty much what my hair looks like so i think this is day 46 or day 47 and obviously you can see my hair does look pretty good after i scalped i think this is week six or week seven as you can see that right side still looks pretty it looks decent there's still a lot of forks but honestly i can't complain but i do have some solid connections on the top of my head and on the left side so overall this was a very fun challenge to record every single day of my wave progress and i'm personally gonna go back and watch each video just to see all the struggles that i went through so i just want to say thank you guys so much for staying tuned i'll see you guys in the next video peace